Hello, and welcome to the library, which is my favorite room in our 1903 Victorian house. Yes, I will do a house tour at some point. I am just waiting for the conditions to be right, which are the house is quiet, which means nobody else will be home. The lighting is right, which means it needs to be morning. And the house is clean, which means I need to clean the house. But that's not why we're here today. We are here today for show and tell. I actually got this idea from TikTok where I saw a video. The creator was basically talking about how it's silly that we only do show and tell in elementary school because now that we're adults, we have much cooler stuff just with no built-in venue to show it off. So I thought that was a really cool idea for a video and would be fun for you too. And I think it would be fun to make it a little community thing where you can post your video showing off your cool stuff and then tag other creators below to see what they have that they can show off. Okay, I don't need to explain show and tell. We all get it. So I thought I would start off with three very cool things that I have hanging on my walls in my house that I don't often get a chance to talk about and share with people, so... I'm excited. The first is a Christmas present I received from my aunt, Jody many years ago, where she had taken postcards that were saved from an ancestor of mine and, and hers from the early 1900s. She put them in frames and gave one to each of us. I just, it's so cool. It's like, it's a piece of history, but family history, and it's so unique. And the really cool thing is the frame is double-sided, so you can see both the front and the back of the postcards. Now, I've covered up the name and address of my ancestor just because I do still have family that lives in that area, and I want to protect their privacy. But it's just so cool, and you can read what my ancestor's friend wrote to him on two of them. This one doesn't have anything written on it, it's just blank. But look at that Christmas scene. Isn't it, isn't it sweet? Let's see, one of these does have a postmark. 1909 is when it was sent. So yeah, these are over 100 years old. And this is just a very cool heirloom that I love. All right, the next thing is something that I bought. Silhouettes of myself and my husband wearing Regency costumes. And I also have one of my daughter also wearing a Regency costume. We purchased these, well, had them commissioned back in 2020 when it was kind of all the rage in costuming circles to have silhouette parties where Charles Burns, a.k.a. the Silhouettist, would cut our silhouettes from paper, freehand, just, just paper and scissors, cutting away, over Zoom. And my friend Maggie and I hosted a silhouette party with some of our other costuming friends, and I got, obviously, three of them done. And these hang on our wall now, and I love them so much. I want to get new ones because now I have a son and he needs his silhouette cut as well. And finally, I talked about this in a previous video. This is my tintype of myself and my children in our Edwardian outfits in front of our house because it's an Edwardian era house. And I thought, how cool would it be to have a real tintype photograph, so technology that would have been available at the time, wearing period appropriate garments and my son is even in an antique pram in front of our beautiful house. This is one of my new favorite possessions. I love it so much. I want to get a better frame for it. This isn't quite what I envisioned. It's very cool, and I love that I have this. <laughs> I'm not sure what else to say, except that if you want to get your own tintype photograph or custom cut silhouette, you can do that. Both of these men have um, websites 
which I will link down below. And either one would make a great last minute Christmas gift, since you could just order a gift certificate from their website, which would be delivered immediately. You can't get this online though, this is one of a kind. So that's my show and tell for the day. I hope you enjoyed, and if you are interested in playing along, definitely send me a link to your video, and I will add it to a playlist, which I will link below and update every time there's a new one. If you enjoyed seeing my stuff, don't forget to give me a like. And if you want to see more, not always show and tell, but I might do a little more of these, definitely subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye. Thank you.